morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's car boot haul. It is Sunday. It's the something of May. Middle of May. It's Sunday the middle of May, 14th. Um, just one car boot again today. We didn't even go and see if Trench was on because we've got a packed schedule today, or rather I have. But also one car boot was enough for, uh, hang on, quite a nice haul. Before I begin showing you what I bought, I need to show you this stuff at the back here. I didn't buy that, so I'm gonna show you that first because I want to say thank you very much to Vanji. I've met Vanji at, well, I see her nearly every Sunday these days, but met her first at the car boot and she's um, she's a viewer and uh, she's a lovely lady. I met her with her mum and she said to me a couple of weeks ago, I've got um, some stuff you might want. Might have been last week, actually. I'll bring it next time and I saw her today. She said, I'm glad I found you. I've got a bag of stuff for you. And it was all of these mugs which are exactly what I would pick up if I were looking, I would kind of think, like, oh, I'll buy that. And it's all stuff that she's had listed and not been successful with, but different people have different success with the same things, you know? So she's given me, let me just put these, I'll show you these first because they can go in the bottom of the bag. There's two Pampered Chef mini plates. It says on the back, help whip cancer. So they were obviously a Pampered Chef collaboration with Cancer Charity. And they're pink polka dot. I've never seen Pampered Chef stuff in a pink pattern, but I've never been to a Pampered Chef party. It's only the stuff that I've picked up. But they are stoneware, all the same. They're just glazed stoneware. So, really very nice. Never even seen those. Then there's two Jamie Oliver mugs. Let me see if I can get them out. Two Jamie Oliver mugs, which I've always had fairly good luck with. There's Hot Babe and Drama Queen. There's two kinds of Jamie Oliver mugs. One is made by Queens and one is made by Royal Worcester. Doesn't seem to be a lot of difference in how they sell. And then there are these two, which are, they say on the bottom, microwave and dishwasher safe, made in China. There's a picture of a little bird. And they're really nice, quite chunky, solid mugs with the initials on. We've got R and M. Don't know if they come up the right, I can never remember if you see things the right way around on the camera or not. I see it back to front, so I think you see it the right way around. So yeah, R and M there. Really good solid earthenware mug. That. There's a Marks and Spencer polka dot stacker. There is a Villoy Bock Dusseldorf. Villoy, I never know whether it's Bock or Bosch. I always say Bosch. Villoy and Bosch. Dusseldorf New Wave. Then there's these two, which are a pair. These are Calf Kidston. A tiny classic vintage Kath Kidston. This one's also Kath Kidston. And then finally this last one is Starbucks. And I've never seen a Starbucks one like that either. It says Starbucks on the handle. So this is uh, 2008 Starbucks mug. Kind of like Japanese cherry blossom kind of... Is that cherry blossom? I don't think it is, is it? I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's cherry blossom. So... That is a lovely little haul. If I'd, if I'd found them to buy, I'd be delighted. So thank you so much. So thank you so much, Vanjie. I'm really pleased and I'll try not to break them all. I bought then, I paid £3 for two tea towels, which is quite a lot, really. This one is Suffolk by Emma Ball. Really quite nice watercolours. I've no idea. I don't know who Emma Ball is. Never heard of her. I know nothing about it, but it was quite nice. And then this one is, this must be vintage, I think. It says USSR, which is the Soviet Republic before, you know, I don't, when did it stop being the USSR? When did it stop being called that? I don't know. Baltic Shipping Company. So yeah, must be vintage. That's about the extent of my knowledge on that. And I paid 50p for a Christmas t-shirt with elf on it going, Santa! Will Ferrell as elf. That was 50p. It is, it's nearly June. It's probably time to start collecting up Christmas jumpers and things ready to list. Okay, I've got a Mallory Towers box set. This was three pounds. Now there are 12 Mallory Towers books in there. Enid Blyton only wrote six. So the second six were by Pamela Cox. I've never read the second six. I'm a bit hidebound and I get a bit I don't know, reluctant to read stuff that is using one author's characters but written by another author. So, even so. Nice and that, apparently the lady said her daughter only ever read the first one, didn't really get on with them. So I thought they were worth three quid, bloody heavy. And I paid 50p for Terry Pratchett's Dodger in hardback. I own this already, I didn't need to, didn't need to buy this for me, but I'll sell it on. Second edition. 
not a first, although the later ones would be so popular that having a first wouldn't mean much anyway. I paid one pound for this Kath Kisson bag, which is very, very grubby, but structurally it's okay. It hasn't got any rips or tears. It's just really grubby. So I thought I would take a chance on that and pop it through the washing machine for a quid and see how it comes out as an oil skin. So that might come out quite nice after a wash. And ditto. Literally, I could just repeat the same sentence again. I paid one pound for this Kath Kidston bag. It's very, very grubby, but um, it's in structurally in good condition, blah, 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 blah. So again, that one's going to go through the wash and see if that one comes out a bit nicer. That one's really grubby. So it's worth risking a quid, in my opinion, to see if I can get them nice again. And another pound for a brownie gilet. Again, we spoke about this before. They've left all of the bag badges on. I feel like if, you, if your child has achieved these things, you should take the badges off and keep them, but, but you know, you do you. Literally all of the badges on, so I'll have to unpick those because you can't sell it with them on. That one looks like it's been iron glued on, so that might have to stay. That's annoying. I paid a pound for, for a busy Bubbaloo Bird puppet. You know I like a puppet. Um, these sell quite well for me. I'm always pleased when I pick these up. And I've just spent ten minutes untangling his strings. He wasn't tangled when I bought him, but I managed to tangle him before I got him home. And now his foot's on back front. There we go, I've sorted his foot out. Or have I? Two pound for a very vintage spong, but boxed with all of its extra components, which is rare. You don't often find all these extra bits. So it's got its grinding discs, they're a bit grubby, and a, gr a slicer blade and all the other bits. Spong and Company Limited. Unusual to find the little leaflet in there. So that was two quid. And one pound for this travel scrabble, and I've never seen a travel scrabble like this in the zip around case. I've seen plenty of travel scrabbles, but this is my first zip around one. It's got the, it's quite a nice board. It's almost like a deluxe travel scrabble. Tra travel scrabble? Travel scrabble gravel. Travelling scrabblings. Scrabble gravels. Apparently I can't say that. I think all the bits are there. Hopefully, hopefully there's some, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the bag with all the, I'll need to count them. As I've said to you guys before, there should be a hundred letters in a scrabble set. 100 tiles. So much quicker than trying to sort all the letters out is just to count all the tiles and then if you've got one missing then you can start finding out which one. 50p for a small Lego storage box, just a... what do they call these? Four lug or something like that? Four... don't know, four bump. On the back I've just realised it has engraved on it, Finley 2013. That's odd. I paid Four pounds for a set of three BT phones. So they are this kind that sit in the closet. They're, they're, they're crazily tangled. I'm going to have to sit there and untangle that. But I've got all three handsets. Can't pick them up. All three handsets. All three holders. And the destruction booklet. So I shall have to sit there and untangle the wires and make sure they're all neat and tidy. And I'm going to leave that there, I think. And five pounds for five grow eggs. The grow eggs, they don't have the value they used to. They don't sell the way they used to, but they still do sell. And I've got five of them for a fiver. So at some point when I'm feeling energetic, I'll sit there and untangle all the wires. Two pound for a pair of Clark's software shoes. They're in really good nick. I would say she wore them very, very briefly, if, if at all, because there's not, no marks on the sole or anything. They are a size five. They are suede -ette. And 50p each. This was the same lady as the Mallory Towers books. 50p each for two Disney mugs. Don't often see a Disney mug for 50p these days, so I've got Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh, and they're both 3D with a raised design. Winnie the Pooh's foot sticks out, can you see that? This one was £2, which is more than I would normally pay, but it's a nice Jules mug and it was in its box. It's a really nice, really nice design. Look. So it's a lamb and a pug. No, it's not. It's a, po it's a poodle and a pug, and they're having afternoon tea, and it says on the bottom, party animals. Would have been 9 95 in Jules originally. And yes, complete with this box. I paid a pound for a little Yankee candle and shade. I didn't want the candle because it's already already well melted. It's a uh, fresh comfort, apparently. But the little tray was nice. The little tray is the Kitchy Kitchen small tray and shade in very good condition. Needs a bit of clean up. Three mugs from Steve. The um the grow eggs were from Steve as well, by the way. I didn't get I haven't done filler bag for a couple of weeks because I can't be bothered to rummage. But three mugs from Steve for a pound. This one is a Roy Kirkham golfing hole in one mug. This one is Hudson Middleton Helen Penton Vogue collection. Don't know who Helen Penton Vogue is, but there you go, it's one of those. And then this one is a Pimpernel 
Parisian scenes, small one. I bought 10 six by six by four boxes for two pounds because that's quite a useful size. Quite a useful size, six by six by four. And then this was probably my buy of the day. I got five rolls of Cricut vinyl. Well, it's four rolls of, rolls of vinyl and one of transfer tape, but it's Cricut branded smart vinyl, which is really expensive. Four of those, five of those, five rolls all together and Cricut tools, £9.50 the lot. She wanted £1.50 a roll on the Cricut vinyl and £2 for the tools, £9.50 the lot. So the Cricut tools alone, £20.25 for that on Hobbycraft, just for that tool set alone. The transfer of tape is a tenner, the smart vinyls are over a tenner a roll. That is my buy of the day. And that's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. So um, I'm pleased with what I've got today, really pleased. I wasn't feeling very buy despite the fact that I've got all this stuff. I wasn't feeling, I don't think I even looked at every stall today. But like I said, I've got quite a pressured schedule and I've had a very busy few days as it is. So that's me done. That's me done for this week. And I will be back next week with more. As always, if you've seen anything in this video that takes your fancy, there's an email address in the description box below. It's much better for me if you email me there rather than message me on the various platforms or put in the comments. If you email me, I'm bound to see it. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.